running for hours and I don't know why. What am I running from? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Like, bitch, I feel like nemesis. I pull up on like stars. Walking like I own the place like diamond crumbs and cars. Like, oh, I'm so pretty. Can you please hold your applause? Like a year ago, I dove into my creepypasta obsession regarding the fan club I owned and my love for the horror genre. I promised a sequel, but um didn't deliver. So let's take it from the start. When I was nine years old, I had a crippling addiction to the creepypasta fandom. It was my profile pictures on everything, I had three different fan games, and a strange attraction to Jeff the Killer. Baby, oh baby, why did they make you look so good? You're a Tumblr sexy man to me. I think the funniest part about discovering my sexuality is now knowing the characters I was hyper-focused on as a kid weren't just extra cool to me. Now I know that I was a freak who was in love with a fictional serial killer and a clown. I mean, sorry, not fictional. They are real to me! There was one thing in this era that really spiked my Tumblr-esque crushes on these characters. MMD, Miku Miku Dance. I'm really getting a kick out of my uh, childhood here. There was this old anime animation program where people would take characters or models and make skits and movies out of them. Or what I watched made them dance to various songs. It was basically 2013's version of Gotcha Life. Anyone who remembers this or has nostalgia of it is now my best friend. Because I remember requesting multiple animations of Jeff the Killer, Ben Drowned and Eyeless Jack dancing to Bad Apple, Insanity, Britney Spears' Criminal, and Lady Gaga's Monster. I tried to look for them. I can't find them. I don't know. Just something about serial killers twerking to Britney Spears made me feel some kind of way. Artists online made them look so sexy, and I was surprised on how I turned out. Yeah, I was a bit strange. But truth be told, if there wasn't this phase of the internet, would any of us be that unique? Between me discovering creepypasta from a Roblox game, my crush on Jeff the Killer, and not beating the 8 pages, I remember there was another creepypasta I discovered about a year into my addiction, because the music smacks above all belief. So, my little pony, to add on to my bingo cards of internet trash, I was a brief brony just because the music was a little too good, and this included me diving into the Rainbow Factory and Pinkie Pie's Cupcake Factory. No, I'm a boxer. No, I'm more chaos and death. No, seriously, where the fuck were my parents? They were concerned years ago that I was a boy interested in ponies, but little do they know, it was AUs where they were serial killers. You know, the creepypasta where Rainbow Dash becomes evil, creates a rainbow factory, and kidnaps people, murders them, and drains the color from their body? It's totally awesome, but actually kind of sick. In the rainbow factory. Now, I mentioned in the previous video that on Roblox I had a creepypasta group that held meetings every Wednesday, and then made a game called Creepypasta City, which was just a blank can with a mess and Slenderman. Okay, so here we have uh, the infamous Slenderman, Slenderman R, Tenderman, Enderman, Frender, Friend. Fenderman. But I owned another fan club that I didn't talk about. Welcome to Creepypasta City. All right, y'all, so this is Creepypasta City. This is a game my friend Sean and I built uh, eight years ago. So here is the meeting area that looks like it was absolutely demolished. Very nice. Stolen. While you're talking, we have my bae. You know what I'm saying? I specifically remember taking... Staying up on a school night trying to figure out how to make this Jeff the Killer statue. What y'all think? Y'all think this far? Let me know in the comments below. And here we have my character at the time, which looks like it got entirely griefed by Sean. Fuck you, Sean. So this is Creepypasta City. Um, not much of a city. I made three Roblox fan games for Creepypasta. and owned three fan clubs while simultaneously having a crush on the boy who got burned alive. On top of this, one thing I do is always watch the cute comic strips. You know. These, all of these, were my unnatural obsession. This was the Undertale dub trend before the Undertale dub trend, the actual definition of internet trash. So, my creepypasta obsession is a little wild ranging from these two videos. But whether you have a crippling addiction to fan club meetings, Jeff's unnatural ass, cute animations, MMD, or building a city portrait of yourself, I think I'm a little glad the internet carries creepypasta on with animation memes in the future of animation. I really am. Too bad the 2018 movie was some garbage though. But at the end of the day, I think we're all a little weird. At least I was, with my creepypasta obsession. A slender man, slender tender man, enderman, slender man, slender. Mama, I'm in love with a criminal. And this type of love is irrational, it's physical. Mama, please don't cry, I will be alright. Always in a sight, I just can't deny love again. Do -do -do -do. 